Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today I'm going to show you guys how to increase your shrimp survivability by a lot by using a coffee grinder. So this is a quick tip video. Um, if you have shrimp and the survivability rate is quite low, it could be that you're just not providing them with enough food. Especially the babies, right? Because they need a lot of little powder bits and pieces floating around the tanks, swimming around like this, and it needs to go to every corner for the little babies to take advantage of it, right? And it needs to be small. Right, so we have a few ways of doing this. Here we have a mortar and pestle. This is the old-fashioned way of doing it. If you have one of these, it's still a good way to do it, but it's just not as good a way to do it as the next method I'm going to show you, right? So this is a mortar and pestle method. This is just some algae flakes. And you can do this with any hard type food uh, that you have lying around, right? So get in here, grind it up, and it takes a little bit of work with a mortar and pestle, like so, right? You can see it's gradually powdering up, right? So uh, what we want is, we want it to be as fine a particle as possible because the smaller the particles, guys, the easier it will be for baby shrimp to eat, right? So this here is a coffee grinder. These things are designed to smash up a hard coffee bean, right? So it makes them ideal for us to use um, in the shrimp room, basically, right? So this is, for me, this is a must-have in my shrimp room. I use this for making all my own foods as well. I powder all my own foods with this first. Um, and I also powder all my baby shrimp foods with this as well. So let's just show you how this works. Right, and these are quite cheap as well. They're, they're probably not even twenty dollars or something like this and this is a good make as well this is a Bosch one right and you just plug them in go like this and what I do guys is I listen for the change in the noise you hear it's like a grating noise that means it's still not powdered you're, you're waiting to hear uh, the blade to be relaxed it's, uh, you will hear the difference it's, it's almost like the blade speeds up slightly once it's powdered You hear it? So it's still grinding away. You hear the difference? It's getting like smoother and smoother. There you go. So that is what we're looking for, right? And these things are pretty, pretty good to use. And it powders them up so much that you get like dust coming out of it, right? So, and then all you would do is grab little bits of food. You can see how fine the powder is compared to the mortar and pestle. It's not quite the same and it's much much faster, right? So uh, for me this is something that is a must-have in the shrimp room. Get yourself a coffee grinder and you will have lots and lots of luck with baby shrimp, right? So let's just go around and we'll feed some shrimp. I've already fed these shrimp today but I think it'd be a good idea for you guys to see them. I mean, you can see how fine this powder is here on the surface, you see it? Go around, feed your tanks. Just a little bit in each tank. Make sure all the baby shrimp get some food. And there you go, there is our quick tip video for the weekend, right? So get outside, get to a store, and get yourself a coffee grinder. They're absolutely awesome. They have a plethora of uses in a shrimp room, as I said before. From making um, your own powdered foods to making, um, as an example, uh, buffers. I make my own buffer as well. Let me show you. So you can believe. You can believe. Right? So here's my own buffer. And this I made with that coffee grinder. Isn't that cool? Right, so uh, for me this is a must-have. They're relatively cheap. Just make sure you get yourself a, a decent branded one. And they should last for quite a while, right? Because as I said before, these are designed to chop up a hard coffee bean, okay? Thank you for watching. Have an awesome weekend. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.